Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hi, my name is Paul, and this is Mr. Craig. Uh, Mr. Craig is 76 years old and uh, has a very interesting presentation I'd like to discuss briefly. Um, he came to see me yesterday for an evaluation after seeing an orthopedic surgeon, and um, they were concerned about the severe amount of pain that he's been having in his shoulder. One year, a little over a year ago, he had a rotator cuff repair on the left side, recovered well from that, and uh, had good functional return. Um, two weeks ago, woke up with severe pain in the shoulder and arm, upper trap area, uh, which was quite intractable, and uh, so went to see his orthopedic doctor yesterday. They MRI'd his uh, shoulder and neck, found both to be fine, um, and uh, so was sent to me. Interesting finding here is that uh, he has a severe amount of weakness associated with this severe amount of pain that he developed. Um, so the first thing I'm going to ask him to do is to try to lift the arm straight up in front of you if you can. That's as far as he can flex it, okay, and rest. Now bring your arm out to the side as far as you can. Okay, can you hold your arms like this? Can you bring your hand out towards my hand? So he has no active flexion, abduction, or external rotation. The other thing that's quite interesting here is that he has very limited supination. So I'd like you to hold your hand like that and don't let me turn it inward. Fight me. And I can break him easily. I can break him with my thumb. Hold there. And we also have significant weakness of the biceps. Hold it up. And I can pull him down quite easily. Um, all other muscle groups are... are within normal limits. He has good internal rotation, uh, extension, and adduction are good. Um, reflexes, I was not able to get. He just didn't have very good reflexes all the way around, and his sensation is equal. I was concerned about a possible um, herpes zoster or uh, shingles um, to the nerve root that comes down and controls the uh, cuff, um, but he has no pustules and he has no hypersensitivity to touch. Uh, so we were starting to think that there is some other neurologic issue going on here. When I do a Sperling's test, I'm going to turn his neck and rotate him and extend him a little bit. Does that hurt? Yeah, yeah. yeah it starts to increase his pain and when we tested him yesterday it was even more significant than that because we were able to push him a little bit more. When we tractioned his neck, he had significant relief of pain. So one of two things is going on. Uh, when we had the MRI rechecked, it looked like he was having some significant compression at C6, C7 on the left side and a severe canal stenosis uh, on this side also. And um, the other possibility is Parsonage-Turner syndrome, which gives you a severe amount of discomfort for the first couple weeks. You develop severe amount of atrophy and then uh, you could uh, take one to three years to regain strength and function in that arm. Uh, and it's a, it's a neurologic condition that can mimic a rotator cuff tear. Um, so what we are going to do is send him to a neurosurgical specialist uh, who will be evaluating him soon. And um, if he's not surgical, we may have him seen by a neurologist to do some EMGs and uh, try to get a definitive diagnosis on the Parsonage Turner. Um, thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.